circle 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 a topic that all the students complain to me sir when it comes to circle i couldn't find the angle all right so today we're going to tackle this topic all right before we start this topic circle if you think there is going to be some shortcuts some magic things that i'm going to give you to make you score in your circle this is not the video for you i'm going to give you everything from the basics until the advanced the tips that you need to score every circle question so let's get started if you want to take some notes now is the time grab a paper grab a pen and get your notes so the few basic things that you need to know okay this is number 1 number 1 all you need to know is one circle you consists of 360 degree angle so you should know that all right everybody must know this that's number 1 number 2 if you have one straight line you should get 180 degree remember this is straight line if you don't have a straight line then it is not 180 degree all right so number 3 if you look at this symbol what is this this is not l this is 90 degree you should have 90 degree when you see this symbol that means it is 90 degree all right number 4 what you need to know is let's say i give you any triangle it doesn't mean like because there's a lot of triangles right equilateral triangle isosceles triangle right angle triangle all this nonsense is there right but when you see this triangle right any triangle when you plus all the three angles you should get 180 degree that's number 4 and for number 5 if you have any quadrilaterals so what do i mean by quadrilateral any polygon that have 1 2 3 4 sides we call quadrilateral and quadrilateral when you plus all the four angles you should get 360 degree see it doesn't mean that this shape you know quadrilateral could be anything 1 2 and 3 uh, and 4 this is also quadrilateral when you plus 1 2 3 for all these angles you should get total 360 degree that's tips number 5 and you have another one more important tips tips number 6 which is when you have two straight lines crossing like this you have this shape the opposite angle should be the same let's say they give you here 30 degree and here should be 30 degree very good and did you see this is a straight line right so if this is 30 this should be 150 so if this is 150 the opposite of this should also be 150 degree so these are all the basic things that you definitely need to know before you do any circle question all right so now let's go for circles So that was the basic things that I teach you about angle C. You have to know this basic stuff in order to answer all the questions going to come out in your circles. Okay. But if you want to answer circle question right there is a certain properties there's no much you know. There's only three or four important properties that you really really need to know in order to answer all the circle questions. All right. I'm going to go property one by one. So I'm going to go for property one by one. Okay. You should get some circles ready by now in your paper. You print it out or you draw some circles and all that you should get some circles ready for you to write down the notes that i'm going to tell you now okay or you memorize this or later you write down all this note that is very very important don't forget what i teach you now right so if you forget i can't help you i don't have some uh, some pill for you to remember everything okay so you have to put in the effort because you have to understand there is no shortcut when it comes to success you have to put your effort in so let's get started with some few properties property number 1 that i'm going to say you give you is okay let's have a look at this one circle here okay if you look at this circle i got one nicely drawn circle and got a b c d at this point right so we got a b c d for three letters four letters here okay a lot of students the mistake that they do always is this is mistake number 1 that you should not do what is that mistake people tend to look for patterns you know like a butterfly pattern like some zigzag pattern or whatever pattern see guys you're not supposed to look at those patterns right what you need to do is you need to look at what i'm asking you to look at all right number 1 so you you have a look here a and b okay we have an angle here right this angle is 20 degree okay what i want you to do now is very simple you look at this 20 degree angle where this angle is going to it's going to two different points which is a and b right that's where the angles are going so let me let me draw for you here from d this angle is going to the point a 
and the point B, alright, is going to the point A and B. So what am I trying to tell you now is, when you start from point A, B, if from these two points, if there is any other angle from these two points, you are making any angle inside the circles, remember it's touching circumference, and it is also touching circumference. Any angle starting from the same two points should give you the same value. So this should be also 20 degrees. So if this is 20 degree, right? It's starting from these two points A, B. So from the two points, if you do another angle and it's touching at the circumference, it should give you the same value. Okay, let me draw another line for you. Let's say from this A and B, I am drawing another straight line, go to the circle, end of the circle, circumference. And from here, it's coming down to the point B here. And this should give me the same value, which is 20 degree angle. That is property number one. Okay, what am I trying to tell you now is, see, when you have AB, why they say AB, you make the same angle because the length of arc, this length, AB, the length of arc is same for all the angles made here. So, let's say I draw another angle from AB, I'm drawing another angle going up and going down. This angle should give me the same value which is 20 degree y because this length of arc made by for this angle and the length of arc made for this angle this angle this angle everything gives you the same value that's why you get 20 degrees there. that's property number one see every time when you see a question i want you to look at this huh? 20 degree it's going to a and b from a b is there any other line going out yeah it is going out here it's 20 degree it's going out here, it's 20 degree. It's going out here, it's 20 degree. That is what I want you to learn. Next time when you see any circle, this is what I want you to look for. You see where the information given, from there where is it going out. Okay, let's have a look at the second one. All right. If you look at the second question, wow, this picture is like got so many angles here, right? So what I'm going to do now, very simple. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw one line from here. Okay, this is 50 degree, right? From the 50 degree, I'm going to draw two lines okay i got two lines here which is c and d from c and d is there any other line going out or not it's not going out right so you cannot say 50 degree is equal to any other angles here you can't say that unless if the question say the length of arc cd is equal to the length of arc ab let's say the question says the length of arc cd is equivalent to the length of arc ab then what's going to happen see if this length CD is equal to AB, the angle that made in the top here and this angle should be what? Should be same. So if this is 50, this is 30 and obviously this is 20. Good. So this one, you're going to get 20 degree there. So if this is 20 degree, 30 degree, this whole thing is 50. How I know this is 50? This length of arc, this length of arc is the same. Alright, let's have a look at another question here. Okay, let's see they also give you CD is equal to AB. They also tell you it's equal to FG for example, let's say that it's also equal to FG. Where is FG? This is F, this is G. This length angle and this angle is the same. So, this should be also how many degree? Y is also how many degree? 50 degree. That's why you should get. So, the moral of the story, you see where the angles is starting, see where the ending from the same two points. If you have any other angle ending inside the circle, then they should give you the same angle. But let me tell you something. Let's say from A and B, I'm doing another angle which is going out of the circle. Ah, this one. Ah. That angle is definitely not same as this because it's going out of the circle. Only the angle ends at circumference should give you the same value. Okay, let's see. There is another angle ending short. It's not touching the circumference. It's shorter. This should not give you the same value as well. But what I can tell you, this angle is bigger than this because it's shorter. It's going to get more bigger. When it's go farther from it, it's getting smaller. But I don't know exactly what is the value there. But one thing I can tell you, if these two points, they end at somewhere called center. Let's say this is the center of the circle. Let's say this is the center of the circle. The same length of arc. When they end at the center, then you should remember the angle at the center is actually two times the angle at the circumference. Let's say here is 20 degree, 20 degree times two. Come, use your fingers to calculate 20 degree times the, the, the you're gonna get what? You're gonna get 40 degree. Yes, that's your answer, right? So if it angle, if the angle is in the middle, it's gonna be twice the angle at the circumference. But with the rule that 
they both have the same length of arc all right so that's property number one let's get to property number two now okay so that was the first concept that i was telling you so what i wanted to do now is very simple every question that you see after this in circle i want you to look for this concept that's what you need to do you don't have to go and look for what they want what you need to do is you need to look for this concept okay i'm going to give you a small improvisation on what i teach you okay cikgu nak bagi awak satu beza satu perbezaan sedikit tadi cikgu dah ajar awak kan setiap kali bila kamu tengok satu soalan ini kamu jangan pergi cari apa yang dia nak dalam soalan tu katakan disuruh cari x kan jangan tumpukan perhatian pada huruf x tu kamu cari konsep ini dalam soalan tu okey cuba tengok soalan ni eh cikgu nak bagi awak satu contoh cikgu nak ubah sedikit tentang apa yang cikgu ajar awak tadi okey Tadi cikgu kata, kalau ABK, kamu tengok angle E ni, kalau angle ni katakanlah cikgu bagi awak 70 darjah. Example, let's say give it this 70 degree. Okay, what I'm going to do now, this 70 degree starting from where, that's what you need to look for. You don't go and look for something else. You need to look for the 70 degree starting from these two points, A and C. Is there any other line that making another angle starting from A and C? There, this angle, right? So this should be also how many degree? 70 degree okay but what i'm trying to tell you here this is there is one small improvisation i need to make here cuba tengok daripada a dan c ada juga satu lagi angle daripada yang ini apa dia this angle right can you see a c making an angle here at b cikgu sebab mereka mula daripada dua titik yang sama because they start from the same point is this also 70 degree No, it is not 70 degree. Okay, biar cikgu terangkan what is this actual concept is all about ya. A dengan C, dia start dekat sini kan. Angle E, dia start dekat A dengan C. Okay, length of arc, iaitu panjang AC yang kita ada sebelah sini adalah sama untuk sudut D. Which is AC starting at D. This angle and this angle ada panjang lengkok yang sama. Tapi kalau kamu ambil angle B ini, Angle B ni pula, walaupun dia mula daripada A dan C, panjang lengkok dia bukan yang ini. Panjang lengkoknya adalah yang di mana? Di atas. Sebab tu, sudut ABC A, B, C ni tidak sama dengan 70 darjah. 70 darjah, walaupun mula daripada two same points. That's the point here, alright? So, that is the main thing I need to tell you. Okay, let's look at this question number four. Example number four. See how you need to look for angle. This is what you need to look for. Let's say this is the question. Inilah soalan yang kamu dapat. Kamu kena buat apa tau? First step, just look for the property yang cikgu ajar awak dalam video ni. You need to go and look for this. Okay, let's say dia bagi awak dekat sini adalah sudut P. Let's say cikgu bagi awak yang ni adalah sudut P sekarang. So, kita tengok. Sudut P dia mula daripada dua titik ni. P dan Q. Dari P, Q ada tak tempat lain dia buat sudut lagi? Ah, ni pergi lagi dekat atas ni. Berapa sudut ni? Yang ni pun mestilah apa? P. So, selain daripada dua ni ada tak lagi sudut? Dia ada garis satu, dua. Selain daripada tu ada tak lagi garis? Ada tak? Ada tak? Ada tak? Ada tak? Mana-mana garis? Okay, kalau tak ada, itu sajalah nilai dia. That's the only values. That's the two values of P. Okay, let's say I see. Uh, okay, let's say cikgu bagi dekat sini. Ini adalah nilai uh, 70 darjah. Contohlah 70 darjah cikgu bagi ya. So, this 70 degree goes to this two point. P and R. Daripada P dan R, ada tak sudut yang lain? Ada tak sudut yang lain? Okay, dia tengok. Nampak? Di sini total dia pergi berapa? Ah, yang ni total yang ni so sudut ni pun total dia sepatutnya berapa 70 so yang ini total jumlah dia mesti 70 yang ni P lah this one we don't know how much is it this is 70 this total angle is 70 we know this is P we don't know how much is this alright so that's what we are doing okay other than that too is there any other angle or not it's going here and here other than that here that's all two only there is no other Ah, see can you see here these two places it's also from these two points right There is one line going here, another line going here. So, this angle should be also total is what? 70 degree. So, yang ni P, kita tak tahu berapa. Let's say, we put P is 30 degree lah. Kalau cikgu letak ni 30 darjah, yang ni berapa? This is 40 degree. Sebab total dia berapa? 70 degree. If this is 70 degree total, P tadi kan 30 kan? So, let's say kita letak ni 30. Yang ini mesti berapa? This should be 40 degree. That's how you look for it. Okay, let's look at uh, any other angle. Okay, kita tengok. Kan dekat sini ada R kan, angle sudut R ni. Kita tengok, dia pergi dekat mana? Garis dia, dia pergi dekat dua titik ni. P dengan apa? T. Daripada P dan T, ada tak sudut lain? Nampak tak? Satu sudut, satu garis, dua garis. So, yang ini pula. Ha, sudut ni berapa sekarang? Sudut ni dan sudut ni yang atas ini mestilah apa? Sama, it should be equal. Why? Because these two angles, this angle is starting from these two point. P, T. From P and T, it's also... 
making the angle at S. So this angle and this angle should be same, all right? Practice makes perfect. See, there's only one way for you to score. Kalau you nak score, ada satu cara saja. Macam mana dia? Practice. You have to practice. If you don't practice, you cannot score. You have to trust me on this. Cikgu kena bagi tahu awak, kalau kamu tunggu untuk apa-apa rahsia ataupun masa yang tepat untuk orang bagi kamu satu pil ajaib yang kamu makan dan kamu boleh score, it's not gonna happen. That is truth. You pergi tanyalah mak awak, tanyalah ayah awak. Go ask everybody you know. There is no easy success. There is no way you going to score without putting your hard work. So what you need to do? Pergi ambil buku, buku latihan, look for this one concept first. Dalam video ni, cikgu ajar satu konsep saja. In the next video, I will do what? Saya akan ajar awak property yang kedua. A bit by a bit. Kalau saya ajar awak semua sekali, you not going to apply. You have to trust me. You tak boleh apply semua sekali. So what I'm going to do, this is the first thing. Mana-mana soalan kamu jumpa, kamu pergi cari dulu apa yang cikgu ajar awak. What I teach you, you go look for it first. The same angle, where is it starting and the other angle. When you find that, the other thing gonna be easy. If you're okay with this concept, you continue watch my next video and you can see the next concept in that video. Make sure, work hard.